Hello and welcome back to Mondo Musings. I'm Nick Carter McLean. In this installment, we highlight 10 Jamaican athletes who massively outperformed their world ranking at Tokyo 2020. Number 10. Chad Wright a world ranking in the 30s meant that Chad Wright was the lowest rated of the three Jamaican men to see discus action in Tokyo. When all was said and done though, the two-time national champ emerged as the island's lone finalist, finishing a creditable ninth in a high-quality field. Number 9. Rashid Dwyer Rashid Dwyer left it until virtually the last possible moment to secure the automatic qualification mark for Tokyo 2020, running 20.17 seconds to claim a third national 200-meter title in late June. Competing at his first Olympics, the reliable veteran exceeded all reasonable expectations, setting a 2013 season's best on his way to a respectable 7th place result in the final. Number 8. Hansel Parchment Talked of by some as a potential cut casualty for defending Olympic champion Omar McLeod, Hansel Parchment, whose world ranking had fallen into the 20s primarily due to injury-enforced inactivity, justified the selector's faith in his big meat temperament. The 2012 Olympic third placer authored one of the biggest upsets of the Games in any sport, taking down overwhelming gold medal favorite Grant Holloway to grab his first global crown. Number 7 Damian Thomas Despite producing a lifetime best 13-11 for second at the Jamaican National Championships, LSU's Damian Thomas still journeyed to Tokyo as one of the lower-ranked athletes in the men's sprint hurdles field. And while he came up short in his quest to make the final, the 22-year-old battled his inconsistent start and some tough competitors all the way to a commendable 11th place finish overall. Number 6 Christopher Taylor After failing to achieve the automatic entry standard of 4490, former teen prodigy Chris Taylor had to depend on a quota pick invite to make it to Tokyo. Having cleared this hurdle, the diminutive former World Youth 400 meter champion fought his way into the final, ultimately registering a personal best 4479 for a sixth. Number 5 Sean Rowe Try as he may, veteran hurdler Sean Rowe repeatedly found the 4890 auto entry standard too tall, a barrier to clear in the lead up to the Olympics. He did, though, do enough to earn an invite to the Games and a nod from the Jamaican selectors. In Tokyo, the 28 year old raised his game to unprecedented heights, dipping below 49 seconds for the first time in his career. Number 4 Sharika Jackson Having only dabbled in the bills for much of her career, it wasn't entirely surprising to see Sharika Jackson holding such a lowly world ranking in the event heading into the Olympics. Based on her showing at the Jamaican National Championships in June, where she was second, it wasn't, truth be told, exactly startling that the one-time 400-meter specialist ran away with a bronze in Tokyo either. Number 3. Candice McLeod a succession of personal bests on the road to Tokyo, including an awesome 49.9 PB for second at Jam Nationals, were clear signs that Candice McLeod was primed to outperform her world ranking and probably in a big way at the Olympics. Sure enough, the fast-rising 24-year-old emphatically delivered on that promise, hitting a new lifetime best of 49.5 in the semis before backing that up with 49.87 for fifth in the final. Number 2. Ronisha McGregor Her 50.02 clocking for third at Nationals was the surest indication that McGregor was ready to do significantly better in Tokyo than a 50-odd world ranking going in suggested. And even though she appeared to be just a little bit off her Jamaican Championship speak, the emerging 23-year-old quarter-mile still managed a laudable 10th place finish in the Japanese capital. And number one, Oblique Seville. The youngest male member of the Olympic team at just 20, Seville's world ranking belied the fact that he had run the gauntlet at one of the toughest nationals for the sprints on the planet and come away with a third place finish. 
After equaling his 104 PB in the heats, the talented youngster again proved that he has the goods to potentially lead a sprint revival among the Jamaican men by finishing less than a tenth off a spot in the final. And with that, we've come to the end of another episode of Top 10 of the Weekend. Now, if you happen to have a favorite overachiever who wasn't featured here, feel free to sound off in the comment section. And please continue to subscribe, like, and share. Thanks as always for watching. Until next time, Godspeed.